Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick. Subscribe down below or on the nice widget up above at the end of the video that makes it nice and easy. This is going to be for you Astros fans. Congratulations, you Astros fans. You took it to the White Sox and won the series three games to one. You only needed four games, just like the Red Sox did your opponent to take it. So this team, both teams, took the series in the same case both are coming in in a very good momentum into the series so that has a poise to be a very great series that i will preview in the near future but excuse me let's get into how this astros team won this series number one lance mccullers jr is an absolute beast he obviously when he first came up was an absolute goat at throwing that curveball now he has four pitchers that are absolutely seamless and very good, and he just capitalizes in the strike zone, he's got to learn from some of the better pitchers, obviously Verlander's been down there, so he's got to learn from these good guys, Granky ain't the same as he used to be, but he got to learn from him, so there's a bunch of good guys, Garrett Cole, of course, so there's a bunch of good guys he got to learn from, and then on top of him pitching a hell of a game to get the win, of course they got Jordan Alvarez, you would want to step up, be able to have a double and a homer in that game to be able to supply runs for them. He was able to make it 3 nothing, and then he made it 6 to nothing on his homer in the fifth inning. So I would consider him and Lance McCullers Jr. definitely the players of Game 1. When it came to Game 2, that was when Richard Stanek stepped up out of the pen and got the W for the Houston Astros. In that game, though, um, Frambier Valdez did not do that great in four and a third innings. He kept him in the game a bit. Maytom pitched well. Stanek pitched great. Presley pitched great. Kendall Graveman pitched great in that game. So their bullpen really stepped up. Plus, obviously, the offense um, banging in nine runs, winning that game nine to four. Kyle Tucker had a good game. He was able to single to get the offense going. He's the guy that evened it up. And then he also homered later in the game to really put it away. It was seven to four, only a three-run game. And then Kyle Tucker made it 9-4, to four, so I would say he was the player of that game, along with Stanek, Presley, and Graveman, and the rest of the bullpen when he came to the Astros in that game. And then the third game of the series was the only bugaboo for Astros fans that Michael po Kopech was able to step up for the White Sox and get the W. Dylan Cease did not pitch well in that game. Uh, Kopech didn't even pitch well either. He actually, I shouldn't have used the word step up. He was just able to get the W. He he gave up three runs. Tapera was the guy that actually stepped up, excuse me, for the White Sox in that inning. Pitched two killer innings, and then so did Aaron Bummer in one and a third killer innings. And then, of course, Hendricks closed it out, even though it wasn't a safe situation. So they were able to have the bullpen minus Kopech, who just happened to get the win because they were able to take the lead when that happened. Get the W in that game, where... In this game, Grandal's the one that brought them back on the opposite field home run to bring it within reach. Then Garcia gave them the leading home run. So I would give Leori Garcia, mm -hmm. Yasmani Grandal, and the White Sox bullpen minus Michael Kopech, who just happened to get the win. Um, the players of the game for that game, that's the only bugaboo game the Houston Astros have had, of course, in that series. Now, the final game, of course, was postponed to today. They got an extra day, which actually worked out swimmingly for the Astros because they got to go to a guy that obviously everybody in Houston, excuse me, and really rely on and really count on at this point. He didn't go as deep into this game, McCullers, but he still pitched four one-run innings and had five strikeouts. Garcia came in, pitched well. Maton pitched well against Stanek in a third of an inning. And Graveman pitched well again, excuse me, Presley pitched well. So their bullpen has stepped up this entire series. You have two hot bullpens coming into the next series. The Red Sox bullpen finally got the hedge out of the butts and pitched well. And the, the bullpen with the Astros, it actually has guys that have been pitching well, have continued to pitch well. So that series is going to be interesting. I'm going to preview that in the near future. But this has been the series recap of the Astros taking it to the White Sox. I honestly thought this series was going to be a lot closer. Only one good game by the White Sox. Honestly, a damn disgrace for their fan how that team performed in the series. But kudos to the Astros and hats off to the Astros for having a great series. Congratulations, Astros fans, for advancing to play the Red Sox. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or on the widget up above. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, and enjoy the rest of the MLB playoffs. Peace out, everybody.